Hey everybody, it has been such a long time since I've uploaded a video on this channel. I do videos on my other channels pretty regularly, but this one just depends on when I get some really, really good deals that I will do a video. I did have a really great shopping a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago at Harris Teeter. But because of the fact that I have more subscribers on one of my other channels and I wanted those subscribers to see how I get a lot of things free, I decided to upload a couponing video on my other channel. But now I'm back to this one. Before I get into the couponing haul, I wanted to do a little bit of a rant about Kroger and their lack of taken coupons when they should have, in my opinion. I uh, went to Kroger, I had three $1 off coupons from, for some Lady Speed Stick deodorant. I saw that they had them on sale for $0.89 cents, and they had a bunch of them on sale for $0.89. Cents. So in my mind, I decided I probably should take a photo of that price tag so that I could prove to them, because I had my doubts that it was going to ring up for $0.89, cents. I learned from experience. So, of course, when I got to the register, it did not ring up for $0.89. Cents. And I learned something today about Kroger. I learned two things about Kroger. Number one, if the product is under $5 or 5 or less, and it rings up incorrectly, you get the first one free. And anything thereafter, if it's the same product, you will get it for the sale price. So, that is good. I'm proud of Kroger for doing that. But, herein lies the problem I had. They let me have two of the Lady Speed Sticks for $0.89 cents each, and then they gave me one free. Well, I had three $1 off coupons, and guess what? Kroger will not accept a coupon if the value of the item is less than the coupon amount, of, less than the amount of the coupon, is what they told me. And I said, what? I like they still can get their money back from the coupon manufacturer. They pay them back plus I think it's eight cents. So they would have made money on that. I don't understand, but anyway. So I told the lady at the cash, I mean the cashier, I said, take all that lady speed speed sticks off. I, I mean thank you for working with me and giving me one free, but I wanted to use my coupons and I didn't need the deodorant. I was gonna donate it to somebody else. But because of the fact that they would not allow me to use my coupons on that particular product, I said, take it off. I'm not going to take the product. So there's my rant about Kroger right now. Let's get into the couponing haul. I only brought one of these cases in here with me right here. I got nine of them free, and I'm going to tell you how I did it. On each 12-pack uh, of Coke products, there is a code inside the box. And you can log that code into My Coke Rewards and cash your points in. On a 12-pack, you get 10 points, and every so often, they will do a double and give you 20 points for that. Well, I saved up my points, and I cashed them in for coupons for Coke products. So I had nine $3 off coupons off of Coke products. Target just so happened to have the Coke products on sale three for nine. So I ended up getting nine because that's the amount of coupons that I had. That would have been a, if I did my math right, $27. So I saved $27 on Coke products. Now keep in mind, you definitely need to drink water. I drink water as well, but I also drink soda or Coke if you're in the South. But I just want to let you know, throw that in there. Definitely drink your water, but got nine of those free. Then I went to... Bath and Body Works, I had two coupons for two travel-sized items, and I actually had four coupons, but the other ones I can't use yet, so I'm going to go back when those go in date and get two more of these free, but these are some of my favorite shower gels. I get so many of these free from Bath and Body Works. They are roughly priced, I think they're $5, yeah, they're $5 each, so this would have been $10 right here. Got them both free. So now we're at $37 free, and that's probably all the math that I'm going to be able to do today. <laughs> um, let's get to the Kroger stuff. I did get some stuff at Kroger anyway. Kroger mails me some coupons once every two, one month, two months, three months, I'm not sure. But they always mail me some coupons, and then they always have one free item in those coupons. So today it was for one free pack of Oreos. And this is the Red Velvet Oreos. I had to try them. And 
I actually already bought a pack of these. I shouldn't have done it. I should have waited and got them at Kroger, but I bought a pack at Target. I'm just, I'm just letting you know what I did. But um, the one thing about this, this size is 10.7 ounces. It's smaller than the normal pack of Oreo. So yes, I should have probably have gotten the larger size and I would have gotten more cookies free, but the red velvets are pretty good. So got those free. Then I got a few more products at Kroger. The only thing I ended up paying for today was three of these soft soaps. They were on sale for 89 cents and I had three 35 cent coupons that doubled to 70 cents. So I ended up paying 19 cents each for these. I hope I did the math right. So this is all I had to pay for today was these three, 19 cents each. Somebody please do the math because I can't do it in my head. Then I got, I did end up getting some more deodorant today and these were free. They were on sale for 99 cents. Let me get them out of the bag. They are just the suave deodorant right here. On sale for 99 cents. I had a 50 cent coupon that I'm assuming doubled to 99 cents since they won't give you overage. Then I had a 50 cent coupon off of some dental floss and this particular thing was included. It's a dollar at Kroger. This is the Oral-B Glide 3D White Floss Picks. It was a dollar. The 50 cent coupon doubled to a dollar making this free. So of all of this stuff, I ended up paying 19 cents three times and that is what I got today. So most of this was free. I got an absolutely amazing deals amazing deals today. I'm super excited. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for future videos. I know they're fewer and far between, but I will have more videos posting sometime. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye everybody.